Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. We're concluding this fight. We're really coming into it now. So we're sending a lot of our ships just on uh, torpedo raid mode. Trying to get some torpedo launches off to finish off hopefully the suffering class and those type ships. I'm going to specifically ask them to target those battleships. And hopefully that will encourage them to launch torpedoes as well. Otherwise, I think we're in a good position. Whoops, this is the battle cruiser. We don't want them to go any closer. Um, keep. Let's just make sure that we're still moving at a good angle. Blona, move back this way. Krakow, you're doing fine now that you should be back healed. Uh, your rudder has been fixed at least, so good. Um, another suffering class hit, invisible Charlemagne hit. Just all over the place. They just, they've taken damage all over the place. All right, guys, come on, launch those torpedoes. We are launching. I don't know how many. One, that's not what I had in mind. Let's get these guys to turn so that they know they can launch all their torpedoes. And now let's also get them to engage whatever. Charlemagne class, that's completely fine. And you as well, do this line of breast, turn together. Yeah, if we can get a few more torpedoes, torpedo barrages off, I, I feel really confident that we win. Not only that we win, I'm sorry, I don't mean just that we win, but that we can sink their ships, which is important. This one's already dead in the water. Launching a few more, okay, pull back, pull back. You're going way too fast, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you there. You know what? We'll keep running around the transport ships. We're risking a little bit here, but I am trying to bring a few of their lives to a, to an end, <laughs> hopefully, with torpedoes. And that is what I like to see. A nice barrage from one of these guys. Keep those barrages going. Ah, that's another good barrage. I don't care. You know, let's sink anything. These torpedoes, they're not going to do us any good just sitting in the hole. So go ahead and launch. Launch everywhere. Fire everything. That is an excellent barrage. Look at how... F that is amazing. Just amazing. Really what I wanted to see. That, like the Suffering class, probably going to take at least one hit here. The Charlene class is already sinking, I think. Okay, good. So we are securing the final few kills, which is what I wanted. Uh, Lissa, please be very careful. I don't want you to rupture your hole or anything. Yeah, okay. So then after this torpedo launch, wow, that's very good. And then we'll just pull away. Yes, good. We did land, manage to land one hit. That's very good. We'll pull back. Oh, they spewed another barrage. And look at all these hits on enemy ships. Wow, and the Suffering is going to take a few more hits, too. Look, they're all launching torpedoes. Perfect. Okay, guys, you've done your job. Go ahead and pull back, and then we'll get you to change back into... Whoops. Line ahead. Perfect. Slow down a bit, and we'll keep these guys kind of attacking these destroyers, whatever. Pass through hit, Cobra was hit, hopefully she can still get out. Boa is just launching all our torpedoes, that's what a hero does when a hero gets hit like this. So let's try to turn you a little bit more if you can. I don't think you can, but, oh, we can get maybe, no, probably not. <laughs> Charlemagne class getting hit now. Ooh. Good, one of these as well. Thought it would be this one. Landing a few more hits though, very good. And that Suffering is gonna get, come on, at least one of those, that one has to land. Oh, and they're still launching more torpedoes too. <laughs> Fantastic. More Suffering class hits, she's going down for sure. Another Charlemagne class hit, geez, wow. Just dodge that torpedo. Another hit from the Suffering class. Really good. And we're just going to keep marching this direction. Just on out of sight. 
Okay, let's get Ugo to go to line ahead now. Very good. You as well. Line ahead, chameleon, very good. Uh, you guys have torpedoes? You do. I mean, feel free to launch them. Wow, just really good, really good stuff going on now. Suffering class, that one's dead. This one's dead. And this one isn't dead, but she's been taking a quite a few blows. So I don't see any more torpedoes running through our lines, maybe a couple up here. So this is where we are going to peel off. Just slowly drift away. If they want to come at us, they can, because they will be facing our entire firing line. But we're just going to keep trying to arc away from them. Oh, we actually hit one of their destroyers with a torpedo. Unintentional, but hey, that's probably going to end his day. And it looks like they're turning away. Yeah, we suspect that this is the end of this engagement. Looks like a Charlemagne class is down. Look at the bow, it still is launching. Awesome. Just gonna make sure this Charlemagne class goes down. <laughs> Very good. Yep, lots of lots of stuff happening as far as us hitting them, and they're not hitting us. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. The Duquesne did get a few shells landed on the ascent is Istvan. But we're we're out of here. We know what's up. Turn these guys back. Charmling class, that's probably this one. Very good job, Boa. That's what I like to see. The ship fighting to the very end. And also it's providing scouting information for us. They do I, this is what I like I, I see. I'm like, man, heavy damage, we can just finish her off. That might not be accurate, but Oh, it's going to be very interesting to see what the final toll is here for their ships, for our ships, for everything. I think this is not... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Another... Wait. No, I want to see the destroyer hit. It won't because it's invisible. Hitting their light cruiser. Rune class, that's, that's good. Yeah, heavy damage. I, that's These are the ones who I wish I would be able to sink. Because they're going to come back next fight, and they're going to be completely healed. Which is really unfortunate. But it's just so risky for us to stay. Yeah, we're moving nice and slow, though. So at least we shouldn't take any damage from a bulkhead rupturing or something. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, the boa, yeah, she's probably not going to survive this. Actually, she's not. We could make a push for her. Duquesne class in the way, a rune class with medium damage, and some ships going away. All right, well, let's go for her. This is insane. We could end up losing the entire fight just from this, but hey, we might be able to rescue a, a, a unit, a destroyer, which... Performed heroically, launching torpedoes after she's dead stopped in the middle of her fleet, which is really good. So we'll do a battlefield turnaround uh, yet again. <laughs> and uh, we'll go back and try to pick up the boa just by pushing the rest of the other ships off. So Pollock, you're leading the way. Grand Loser, Lissa. Everyone head this way. Bologna, this way. Krakow, oh, oh, I actually need you, Krakow. You're in really good shape, so I need you. Okay, good, very good. Yeah, go as fast as you can. Uh, 
<laughs> and this Duquesne is just out of position, in my opinion. We are landing a few hits on her. Good. Two. Three. Good. Three total. Also hit some destroyer when... If you're hitting it with six-inch guns, it's fantastic. Probably going to bring their day to an early close. Yep, that one's going down for sure. Bo is still launching torpedoes. That's what I like to see, you know? And that's why we're going back for her. Ah, lots of good hits, too. On this rune class, yes, yes, that's what I want. If we can hopefully just get one of those battle cruisers, I'm not yet another, I should say. Oh, the bow is sinking. Man, that's. Well, we tried. Plenty of torpedoes left in these guys. Well, hopefully they, they will launch a few more torpedoes. Man, we're really laying into this Duquesne. Uh, otherwise, it looks like random hits. Okay, so the fact that that's happening means that we pull the Pollock off, we pull the Kaiser Bay. We were going to pull our group off because we can no longer save, unfortunately. The boa, she's going down. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So whatever you, you see left, we'll just fire at, and that'll be this. That'll be the end. Oh, the Krakow has decided to join us. <laughs> Blowing through the lines. <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point we can probably even go to AI controlled. Alright, very good. This has been a crazy engagement. Just crazy. But all good things must come to a close, and I think that this is now the time for us to... Uh, oh, yeah, sure, we'll just pick up survivors or whatever. Stage class, what is this light cruiser thinking? I mean, I have just a ton of just, of units right here, ready to try to wreck its day. Alright, so we're going to AI control now, that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Alright, so let's go to this and... Keep pushing. Oh, you guys, don't pick up survivors anymore. <laughs> Please don't pick up survivors anymore. Just go. Get out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not worth it. I should have said no. Oh my gosh. What are people doing? Well, I guess we kind of scared them off. Okay, there's the boa. We actually hit it with one of our three inch shells and then we ran away. Good, very good. Okay. Okay, so you guys can't get around this because AI is terrible, of course. Doesn't know how to pathfind around a simple blockade, a simple obstacle. But I, I suspect that... Okay, where's the Pollock? I need to make sure she's not going too fast. She's going 18 because stupid, stupid things. Okay, good, now she's going 10. It's much better. Well, let's just hope this comes to a close before anybody sinks. We have to wait maybe another 200 minutes. Should happen pretty quick, though. Let's just try to guide them. Uh, yes, come on, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, we did it! We did it! 
Okay, Prince Oigan, you're next. You're the next retard. We can hopefully try to get you. All right, very good. And look at this. Our submarines are doing some work. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. Um, I did not expect this kind of result. I'm in shock. Whew. Well, we can see here uh, that it was pretty even in the end. It was five dreadnoughts, although pretty seriously outdated compared to their ships. But five versus six, and then five versus eight. And we pulled through. They also, it looks like, had about 15. Okay, 12 light cruisers. Holy cow, man. And 35 destroyers. Now, we lost four destroyers and they only lost three, but that's the only category which we had any kind of problems dealing with. So, three dreadnoughts down, three battle cruisers down, three heavy damage and four heavy damage. They're not going to have any ships left in the Mediterranean for at least um, two months. Wow. So that's it. That's the, the end of it. Whew. Wow. I closed that a little too soon, unfortunately. I don't think there's any way to get it back. No. No. That, that's a way to view the almanac, I forgot. <laughs> I think there's a way, I thought there was a way to open up the menu again. Because I think I've done it before. Huh. I don't know why. Oh, it's the Prince Oigan is the ship I had targeted, I see. I think there's a way, but I forgot what it is, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just let it go for now. But, wow, amazing. I was going to say, let's just take a look at what actually went on. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it was basically we circled and circled. We did. We went one way, we went the other, and the entire time we held the wind advantage. So that was important, I think. Oh my gosh. I was gonna. I should have seen what kind of ships they had left with what kind of damage. So, Dunkirk. Raising, what is it? Raising steam? Is that what it's? Oh, sinking. Wow. So yeah, that's one of the ones we sunk. And this Dunkirk is also sinking. That's... They have two. That's a little strange. And I guess this Marseille is probably also sinking? Yeah. No, only 78%, but maybe she was considered sunk, I don't know. All right, well, wow, holy cow. So six enemy capital ships destroyed. That's just so many. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, just, uh, let me just be specific. We sank six heavy ships. And, like, if you think of something like Jutland, I don't remember the total number of ships sunk in that, but the percentage of the ships sank in that was not so high. If you have six ships out of, like, 12, like, essentially, like, half, well, not, uh, slightly under half, but almost half of their capital ships were destroyed. That's just insane. Whew, wow, well, what a, what a battle. A three-parter that I did all in one sitting, so my voice is now quite hoarse. <laughs> um, holy cow. Just wow. Well, let's just take a look at the almanac so I can give my brain a second to process what just happened. France is now left with only those three dreadnoughts remaining, but they have six battle cruisers in total. In fact, our numbers are actually superior to theirs now because we have all of our five remaining dreadnoughts and we still have 
a total of 10 battlecruisers in service. And all of those battlecruisers, the Habsburg, a great fighting ship. I think it was demonstrated already that she performs very well. Looks like uh, we'll have four of them in for repairs for another couple months, and four of our dreadnoughts in for repairs. No blockade, but I think we might even be able to sortie out with a blockading force into Northern Europe, where France has basically nothing. Yeah, so we outnumber France here, uh, 170 to 93. I think we'll sortie out with uh, just a few heavy cruisers even, because they don't have any heavy ships there. So we can blockade them, sure. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so let's get these guys, the Blinson, the Rabbit. You guys will be my sortieing group. And you don't have short range, so that's why I, I'm happy. We'll just get a whole bunch of them. Get all these guys to move. Northern Europe. Also gives them a chance to fight, I think. <laughs> Since we're, uh, you know, we're not using them in the battle fleet, the fleet engagements anymore, I guess. So. Holy cow, man. What a fight. Our budget is way up because we're at war, obviously. I, I also wanted to kind of take a look at where the, what are the state of the all the other world nations is Great Britain, USA, as you'd expect, leading the way with upwards of 15, 15 to 20 dreadnoughts, 15 to 20, well, shoot. If you look at raw tonnage, man, USA is just killing it. They have over a million tons of heavy ships. We're the only nation left really with heavy cruisers. <laughs> Everyone else has retired them. And we just um, did a nice blow to France's numbers with heavy, oh, with light cruisers. I thought it said that they had like 20 in that last fight, but it must not have been correct. It couldn't have been correct. Huh. Well, there it is. And budget wise, uh, let's see, Germany. So we're over double Italy and slightly higher than France. But other than that, uh, and we're higher, much higher than Russia, but we're still below Germany and then much behind German, uh, Great Britain and USA. Well, I'm going to bring this episode to an early close to, you know, take a moment to collect my thoughts. But I think this war has already ended in France. So just once again, man, they just don't learn. We shellacked them in the first war and the very next war where they fight with us again and we just once again mow them down. It's good um, gunnery training for our crews, good target practice. The torpedo runs, I think, worked really well. The um, Tiger class was doing really well, so I, I have even higher hopes for the Spilatos, which are faster and have more torpedoes. So, Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you.